Welcome to Ruchi Unboxes with Bajaj Electricals. Brand new kitchen appliances are every home chef's dream. And a few days ago, I was offered an exciting opportunity by Bajaj for unboxing some of their latest products and make recipes. So, I'm waiting for the first one. And there it is. Let's go. Let's start unboxing. You know what guys, with this food processor around, looks like I'm going to be able to cut down on half my kitchen time. A. It helps me need atta. B. It juices all different kinds of fruits. And it has so many different blades. This one is a fine slicer, this one makes french fries, this one is a fine shredder and this one is for coconut and my mom would have been really happy with this one. So without further delay, let's get on with the recipe. To make the Lebanese wrap, first I'm going to start with making the dough. In goes one and a half cup of wheat flour. oil, dash of salt and now let's turn on the food processor. And now slowly add some water. Let's check on this. The dough is ready and now get it out of the food processor. I'm just going to apply a little bit of oil and knead it for one minute. This dough is ready, let it rest for 15 minutes. While the dough is resting, I'm going to quickly grind all the ingredients for the falafel. For that I'm going to use the chopper blade. 1 cup chickpeas, soak for 6 to 7 hours. 1 onion, roughly chopped. 5 cloves of garlic. Juice of half a lemon. Some coriander leaves, some parsley. And now I'm going to grind all these ingredients together. Start the food processor on speed 1 for 1 minute and then keep pulsing till you get a coarse mix. This seems to be ready. Let's check on this. Just feel it in between your fingers. It should be a coarse mix and you should be able to make a ball. This is done. Remove the blade. Just clean it up. Time to season the falafel mix. Half a teaspoon of cumin seed powder. Half a teaspoon of red chilli powder, half a teaspoon of coriander powder, one four teaspoon pepper powder, salt to taste, two pinches of soda bicarb. I personally like to add two tablespoons of rice flour because it tends to make the falafel crispy. Mix all the ingredients properly. I'm going to make small flat rounds of this mix. The falafels are shaped and now time to fry. Drop them in hot oil. Fry them till they are brown in colour. These are ready and now I'm going to get them out.
and now I'm going to make the tahini sauce. For that I have some store bought tahini paste, it's made with oil and sesame seeds. Next I'm going to add a dash of garlic paste, just a little bit. Some finely chopped parsley, lemon juice, little bit of salt, some water and just whisk all these ingredients together. The tahini paste tends to become thick once you start whisking it. So add some more water and keep whisking it till you get the sauce consistency. This is done and now on to shredding the vegetables for the salad which is clearly not my thing but with this guy here I'm much at ease. Now I'm going to shred the cabbage for that I'm going to use a coarse slicer some red cabbage and done let's get it out in a bowl I'm also going to add some julienne carrots and finely chopped tomatoes The salad is ready and now I'm going to keep this in the refrigerator to chill. Generally you would use a pita bread for this wrap but I'm going to make a simple flat bread so let's see how. The dough is nicely rested and now I'm going to take a big portion of this dough and make a ball. Just dust some wheat flour on it. Roll this into a small oval, brush some oil, sprinkle some wheat flour, pinch it in the center and fold it into half. Dust some more wheat flour and roll this into a round flat bread. And now time to roast this onto a hot pan. Apply a little bit of oil and flip it over. Let it cook nicely on both sides. This is done and let's get this out. And finally we are the last leg of the recipe that is assembling the wrap. I'm going to spread some hot sauce over it. You can use any kind of hot sauce, a red chilli sauce or even harissa is fine. Spread it nicely. Now place the falafels in the center, drizzle some tahini over it. I have some thinly sliced gherkins over here or pickled cucumber, gives a nice tangy taste. So just add a few. And now the chilled salad. Fold this and make a roll. I'm going to wrap it in this tissue. One is done, but not enough. 
So let's get on to the second one. And my version of the Lebanese wrap is ready. Hold on, the fun just does not end here. You saw the video, you saw how to make the wraps and now is your chance to win a cool new Bajaj product. All you need to do is answer this very simple question. What feature of this food processor are you likely to use the most and why? Leave your answers in the comment section below and we will choose three lucky winners and you could just be one of them. So, waiting for your answers. Bye-bye.